And it is now time for Consumer Confidential with KTLA's David Lazarus. Joining us live. Hi. Hey Everyone's there. talking about the inflation coming down, but just like very, very tiny amounts. So are we like making a bigger deal out of it? Traders are certainly making a big deal out of it. That sound you hear is the Wall Street doing its happy dance. The Dow is now up by more than 1,000 points. Holy Toledo. This after, as Court just noted, the Consumer Price Index came in a smidge below what had where it had been expected. Economists had thought we'd see 7.9% inflation as of October. The number came in at 7.7%. Not a big difference, but Wall Street is going nuts because what they're doing is taking this as a sign that all of those rate hikes we've been seeing in recent months are finally having an effect on the highest consumer prices in 40 years, bringing them down incrementally, but that's a good thing. It's a move in the right direction. Moreover, this adds credence to the idea that we are not going to see another three-quarter point rate hike next month, as we saw this month, and instead a half-point rate increase next month is almost certain at this point. And then with a tapering following, with probably quarter-point rate increases going into next year. So that's why Wall Street is feeling whoopee today. But are we out of the woods? No, not quite yet. Moreover, if you are thinking that, well, wait a minute, the inflation's down, but I'm not feeling it, here's why. Inflation is still very high for rents, gas, and food, one that affects everybody. Mm. In fact, food costs up by 11% last month. So that's why many households that are living paycheck to paycheck aren't quite feeling the love yet, but Wall Street certainly is. And Elon Musk has another message for his employees. Elon Musk is a case study in how not to win friends and influence people. <laughs> Two weeks after taking control of Twitter for $44 billion, he's finally sent a direct email to Twitter employees that the media, of course, has gotten its hands on. In the email, Musk is saying that the economic situation for Twitter is dire, in his words, this after he fired half the company's workforce. Moreover, Musk is uh, saying that one remedy here is is to do away with remote work. Twitter had embraced it earlier on during the pandemic. And now all the workers who remain at the company, in other words, the ones he haven't fired, have to work out of the office again. So you can imagine that this has been great for morale at the company. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's worth pointing out that Twitter's been blasted by users after imposing its $8 a month verification scheme. Now there's a ton of new verified accounts impersonating public figures. No one quite knows what to do about that yet. Moreover, the top cybersecurity and the top privacy official at the company have reportedly resigned. But other than that, things are going really well for Twitter. Hmm. Wait, who <laughs> resigned? The top cybersecurity official oh. and the top privacy official. We. They're now out ski. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well, what's this about KFC in Germany apologizing for an unfortunate promotion? Yeah, unfortunate indeed. Now, context here, historical context. Kristallnacht means in German, night of broken glass. This happened in November of 1938 when Nazi thugs broke the windows of many Jewish-owned businesses. Historians say this marked the beginning of the Holocaust. Well, Kristallnacht, the, the commemoration was yesterday, and in Germany, KFC sent out a notification to German app users saying, hey, let's treat yourself in honor of Kristallnacht. I swear I'm not making this up. Uh, the app uh, sent a message saying, it's um, Memorial Day for Kristallnacht. Treat yourself with more tender cheese on your crispy chicken. Well, needless to say, Kristallnacht is not an appropriate place to be pushing fast food. Moreover, you don't treat yourself on a Nazi memory, memory day. Uh -huh. <laughs> KFC followed up by saying, yeah, oops. Uh, it uh, blamed this on an automated system, a bot, that links national observances to food promotions. And apparently that bot thought, Kristallnacht, great, let's promote fried chicken. Terrible idea. KFC apologized, said this is obviously unplanned and wrong. But I think uh, we can all agree that no, this is no excuse for this happening under any circumstance whatsoever. For more on my take on all of this, go to KTLA.com, where I'm not pulling any punches this morning. Someone has to lose their job over that. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's a bot. <laughs> I should think so. Blame it on the bot. How can you even send out a message to people that was generated by a, a robot without looking at it first? Yeah, that's tough. Oh, my goodness. Yeah.